Greatest few viewers, welcome to this production brought to you courtesy of Farm and Media Productions. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the Zimbabwe Schools Examinations Council, ZIPSEC, Ordinary Level Syllabus for Form 3 in particular on the physics section. Before we get into the nitty gritties of uh, the topic today, I just want to give you a word of advice. And if, okay, we are in the 21st century. Information is moving at uh, more than the speed of light. And uh, a lot of things are being accessed on the internet, particularly music uh, and other resources again. So I encourage all school going uh, pupils to take some time and listen and study using uh, these resources that we are actually giving you free of charge. So I advise that uh, when it comes to the internet, use your data wisely. Don't use your data on pornographic material and music videos. Use your data for educational purposes and you will see what you know Right, viewers, uh, in this lecture episode, we are going to be looking at the physics section for the Zimbabwe Schools Examinations Council ZIMSEC syllabus, and we are going to be specifically focusing on the Form 3 uh, level, and it, right? So my topic at now, Form 3 physics section, we have data presentation, measurement, force, machines, petrol and diesel engines, energy, electromagnetism, motor effect, generator effect, electrostatics, current electricity, and electrical power and energy. And then, it's just one thing, electricity and magnetism. And then, right, so let's get into the nitty-gritty details of what is required for topics are one by one. And then, right, syllabus here, Remember, Zimseka, if you have a simum syllabus, Mabo. Sagayoga was a syllabus, Yacho, what was a subject, Rajo Race, and what the best way to spot an exam here. But the problem, man, I'm going to say, hey, say, man, co, did I say, Masamaga Mira said, ah, ah, ah. Zira syllabus, yes, what was the answer, my race, a boy, those are not the answers, simple and straightforward, and it. Right. <coughs> so, the first objective by data presentation construct a pie chart. And it, remember, you know, the data my results are not collected to a experiment or a survey. And it, all right, do that with data. Because I'm so confused. And it, data in your mouth, there is no internet. And it, all right, yeah, of course, the data, but all right, anyway, regarding it, 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 I'm going to consider my graph, my bar graph, my pie chart. Chi, chi, chi. All right. Syllabus here, first and foremost, is saying construct a pie chart. And it. But do a pie chart in a line graph. And it. Remember, pie chart, do you have a circle? And it. And then in my segments, I'm cut. I'm degrees. I'm going to say, 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 Then the next objective is. Interpret and analyze the data from pie chart nema line graphs and it okay. Normally in every question paper one dog funza something to do with the line graph or a pie chart and it kuna fana kuna kuinda preta data rajo do right zuru rewe zunza jo ziripo and it elwana funza ma questions asi ana si ana we are going to look into more detail uh, katanga sa topic yo and it right the the next topic you know the you know the measurement and it. All right, and the first objective under measurement, and it, because measure physical quantities accurately using appropriate instruments, and it. Paga change a curriculum yes in sake, pachuya new curriculum, and it. Kare kare ichiri integrated science, penyo wa paper three yavaiti alternative to practical. You would answer my questions a practical as asking it to practical the background. As combined science manjo, so I could practical or open a label, or other or my apparatus, I go or top my instructions, which to it are direct to your pass. So one of you, so one of you, one of you, one of measure, so one of you, one of you, measure, my quantity, I see, I'm going to measure length, chair, chair, to that, I'm going to measure, I'm going to 
my skills are very important even after the academic life. It's very, very important to know those things. To measure length and it, to measure current and it, using an ammeter. To measure voltage, you chance of voltmeter. It's very, very important. Never see how many errors are actually involved. We need to see zero error. We need to see parallax error. You do a test at an angle. No, but that's just wrong, etc., etc. So first, you need to measure physical quantities and it, right? And then. Number two, you need to read instrument scales to the nearest fraction of the division. Right. I'm not going to go much on what is already up up. Tia zengeta kuzbata patiangeta kuta video remeasurement. Iri topic yaka zumiri rira. We need also to determine density of liquids. Right. The first practical is it 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Paka chinjwa curriculum first question paper combined science practical paper. I'm going to experiment here density, density of liquids. By chance we're cooking oil, by chance we're mfura, we're on the dira umo. We're not cooking oil, we're from soro. Zafan basei. Right. Remember, density is called mass divided by volume, and it right and right. Just start as chinji. Bap bap bap. If you still remember, there's a separation technique known as decanting. You separate two more liquids and two different densities. So they suggested the resources. One, to name a vernier calipers, to name voltmeter, ammeter, measuring cylinder, micrometer, screw gauge, ne balance, you need those what can. And also another suggested activity could determine a density of liquids experimentally. You know that's why I think I've found guys who. Ufano dicherori mbama kono ufano dozi wano uro right. Nduraku chaka density ya mfura. Nduraku chaka say. Ufano dozi wano experiment ya achu. Andi. Next concept is when is force. Andi. Remember a force is a push or a pull. Asika ata pa form 3. Eda atiyan yon focus on ima definition. Eno ya bo te ti asu ima wadi. Shaka yon tuwa kare. E ku 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 seri JC. Andi. Alright. So the first objective under force. Define weight, momentum, and inertia. And it. Kula na fufu wadu weight ni masi. Zwa kafa anana. No, zwa kasi ya ana. And it. In the chief explainer, zwa kasi ya ana papi. And it. Because ya momentum, the product of mass and velocity. Zwa kafa na wasi kana fufu. Then inertia. Inertia, pachi Greek, is what the laziness. And it. The reluctance of a body at rest to remain at rest. Because the body in motion to continue in motion. And it. Chia define ama terms why. Next objective is to distinguish between weight and mass. And it? Eh, eh. So that was kind of so. Then the next objective is to state Newton's laws of motion. Sir Isaac Newton, one of the greatest physicists, and uh, Bukhara Geraka Nyora, the natural philosopher of mathematical principles. In the 16th century, 16 something something. Aka Nyora Zunzu, Aka Wanda, Sir Isaac Newton, Tutarati. Munoguti, right now, Zinji, for example, my rockets are going to space, my satellites are going to space. Patients from my laws are Newton, Agawanda. Actually, 300, 400 years before, Anga Zinora Kari, and Agazo Shansama theories, Age, later on, Sanga Kapenga Mishinda will give him a round of applause. Right? Uh, so, you need to know the Newton's laws of motion. First law, law of inertia. Second law, and then, right? F is equals MA in equation, okay? Right, and then Newton's third law. Very, very important, and then, right? Calculate force given mass and acceleration. But the F is equals MA, Newton's second law, and then. State my applications of Newton's laws of motion. My Newton's laws are not apply a pap in real life, and then. We don't know how to do it. Like for example, my car motor fail, my motor will break. I don't motor car will break. My motor will break. My motor will break. You need to explain using the Newton's first law. Why is it after my brakes and motor apply or when I go to get out, I don't break. And then, right? Suggested activities and resources on this concept. Eh, my spring balance, right? Pardon my trolley ticker timer, right? And also. Discussing Newton's laws of motion, but three limited to linear motion in a straight line. Newtonian mechanics in a straight line. Then verifying Newton's second law of motion experimentally is another suggested activity. Next concept: machines. Are they? 
by definition, a machine is any device that makes work to be easier. And it, all right? So first, we need to describe the uses and applications of machines. And it, all right? We also need to determine mechanical advantage of a machine, velocity ratio, and efficiency and it, right, of machines. Particularly my levers, my inclined plane, my pulley, and my gears. And it, though my main machines are too far to Mechanical advantage, if you still remember, MA is because a load over effort. Velocity ratio is because the distance moved by effort, very distance moved by load. Uh, we need also to carry out experiments to determine mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, and efficiency of a machine. Remember, when a machine is 100% efficient, because one energy is lost through friction, energy is also lost through weight, you know, moving parts of machine, you know, you know. we need to explain energy losses in machines. That's where we will be talking about friction, the mass you know, moving parts. We also need to describe ways of improving the efficiency in machines. We are talking of things like lubricating, using bearings, and reducing the mass. And then, Right, next concept, petrol and diesel engines, and it, right? But uh, memorization technique and shall scope a concept, you can see, if you still remember, I can pass English, and I can pass English, oko dudu, right? This is the operation of a four-stroke, four-stroke petrol engine, and it, I can pass English, oko dudu, intake, compression, power, and, and exhaust, no, my face is an engine, and it during intake, right? Inlet valve will open a piston it down during compression. Here's a story in more detail. So, first objective describe the operation of a four stroke petrol and a diesel engine. You know, operator say, I can pass English over to and it petrol air mixtures open up engine through the inlet valve, and it so no pin cylinder. Pa compression piston yo kwiza kwenda mudenga zvino kombresewa power spark plug robaka zvakubvira muya exhaust then zvina ya ya kubuda nepai nepa exhaust valve and it all right uh, so the operation of a four stroke petrol and diesel engine is very very important and content uh, but remember technology is evolving by the day so it's just to focus on my old engines I am a four stroke at this job. Dara, the new ones are we Amazon is with me. I think it is a zero, which is it or an amount of mechanics. Umberico, go, 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 all right. So, explain the role of the fuel injector and the carburetor, and it right carburetor no one got a petrol engine, then good diesel engine, one got fuel inject. Such so explain after my parts a carburetor, Daga Mira say, and it's better my air filters, and it. Pane choku, pane throttle, etc., etc. She explained So yes, Chifamba says in this also in terms of fuel and the air supply, and then you start shopping them engine, and it. All right, it's very, very important, right? We are also supposed to look at ignition methods, and then efficiency, carbon monoxide production, right? Uh, those are some of the things that we are supposed to look at. Then the next one, describe the operation of a modern petrol and diesel engine. And then, the next one, outline the advantages of modern petrol engines over old petrol engines. And then, petrol fuel injectors, intake compression power exhaust, we'll be looking at those things. Economy of petrol and diesel engines, we're going to be looking at all those things. And then, all right, so petrol diesel engines, I can pass English, what oh, do do? You be a pay wrap up. Next one, that be a concept known as energy. Energy is the ability to do work. And then, so first, theaters are heat energy. Remember, they form the energy. I go under kinetic energy, gravitational potential, chemical energy, right? Heat energy is one of my energy sources that now think it's infrared. And then, right, heat. So, first, we are going to look at uh, an account of heat transfer. How is heat transferred from one point to the other? Kuna conduction, 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 convection, radiation, and it. It's not only good conductors of heat, it's not bad conductors of heat. It's very, very important. Right? We need to explain my convection currents in terms of the kinetic theory of matter. Kinetic theory of matter and energy, matter is made up of particles that are in constant motion, and it. 
all right all particles of matter are always vibrating unless katashuka pa temperature nonzi zero kelvin minus 273 degrees celsius actually that temperature is fair kasvikika practical it's a theoretical temperature the temperature yakuti ma particles as they will be stationary no kinetic energy is actually happening but uh, remember it's just theoretical uh, it has never happened on this planet that minus 273 degrees celsius no shikika iyoyo right so we need to demonstrate heat movement in liquids nema gases and it pane ma experiment ane itwa papo pane mu experiment no shanswa potassium pe manganese uchida kuti asa kuona anozi ma convection currents and it anenge ari chi mumvura zvinoita mvura kana chi boiler zviya yepasi inoita more less dense karo ane heat yokwidza mudenga right yemudenga iyo dzika pasi asi zvinoenda zvakadaro tokona kuti demonstrate experiment iyo right state good and bad reflectors absorbers and emitters of heat and it some colors black you no know, absorber white you no know, you know emitter and it plus no shanda papi like you know anzi chima ma ma flask ya anshanswa kuti ukaisa change no pisa choramba chipisa chotonho achoramba chitonhora vanoshanza ma basics of thermal physics a movement ye heat versus g ma colors why and it next concept after energy we are going to look at the electromagnetism right electromagnetism right electromagnetism and the first objective under electromagnetism describe an experiment to determine to demonstrate that a current carrying conductor has a magnetic field around it and it eh but why i ninge katakura current ininge ine magnetic field yakaitenderera just like a magnet ine magnetic field yakaitenderera experiment yo to fana garantees you have to see it was say and it all right my magnetic field patterns and it right straight conductor suggested resources demonstrating magnetic field around a current carrying wire to show some ion filings and a magnetic compass and it so the suggested resources we're going to use a copper wire ion filings source of direct current and a magnetic compass next we are going to look at the motor effect so under the motor effect first and foremost you need to illustrate how movement is produced by a current carrying wire in a magnetic field no concept we shall so gadzira nonzi ma electric motor and then varo shansa electromagnetism idzodzo the movement iyoyo kuti movement no produce kwa say in a current carrying wire kana iri magnetic field no sa watchona kuti kazhinji ma electrical gadgets akawanda no gadzira ma magnet mukati and all those things electromagnetism my concepts are she why I think I should explore why papo right suggested activities and notes carrying out an experiment using a current carrying wire uh, and uh, suggested resources we need a copper coil a source of direct current and also need magnets and it all right next objective describe the operation of a direct current motor a dc motor right another point state the factors that affect the rotation of the coil in an electric motor so the content electrical energy to mechanical energy to one of this yeah strength the magnetic field number of tens are mukoyo amount the current you know pass qua some of the suggested activities and notes that we have on this concept one constructing and operating an electric motor right uses of an iron core right and suggested resources if you can afford electric motor caught a motor or a motor and then Next one look at the generator effect and it right so under the generator effect my objectives are that camera so first point describe an experiment which shows that a change in magnetic field can induce an electromotive force in a conductor all right we need to know those things under the generator effect and then again under the generator effect state the factors which affect the magnitude of induced emf means electromotive force last point describe the operation of an alternating current ac and the dc uh, uh, direct current generator and it, right remember just to in more detail but here ma topics are do mangwe ma topics do ano fungwa science zvakaoma kana vasvika pazvini zvozvo zvozvo but hapana chakadi chombo goja ipapo hapana kana zvachose right next concept is static electricity got electrostatics those are that I discuss All right describe simple experiments to show electrostatic charging using an electroscope 
That's the first objective. Second objective, describe forces between charges. And it, all right? And then the next uh, issue under electrostatics, we're going to look at a lightning conductor. And it, all right? Describe the production of lightning. Lightning no produce was say many no produce was say scientifically, not traditionally. And it was a man and my theory is our ones. Hey, man, you know, God's law was a guru and doing a guy. All right, yeah, of course. Eh, but I don't know if I see our scientific data. The church read God, man, you want so God's you want it. All right, next point explain the principle of a lightning conductor. All right, lightning conductor, you know, the product I say against. Electrical current from uh, lightning and it right state the dangers of lightning. What are the dangers of lightning? State safety precautions against lightning and it. How can we protect ourselves? Can I a thunderstorm which now remember lightning falls under electrostatics? So this is also so no fun you have to take your time with your ring and it. Quit a manya manya, quit on waiter, Shiros was right as a brook where it bends. Toranga, which is tad or jivering and it. I advise with the Gunevar who needs a canane, Kupata, Zuno, comprehend. I suggest you can go and research panel on the SQ3R study system and it. SQ3R study system. Right, Shiro. My university students on it is what method you know, survey question, read, record, review. It technique on what's on Shandis, a boss, but as Mongo Agazot is Runets, and it's courageous now, Pusa, a chaum. So do you still hang on us? And it's no go, Shans with Zengu, a compassion who doubted a give up. Then it's with Zengu, I would go Shans are wrong strategy, and it. So I can go and research this technique further. You know, Bazira can order wearing as you know, the Osakurum Zago. Kangano and it. All right. Usano Noga Pata, which is a Kurumis of Kangano and it. All right. Imagine Parapa Consolidation Day. Right. Berekwakar was one of teachers. No, mana when you. I don't know Noga Pata as you know. I choose a Kurumis of Kangan. Who was what he had an arm of one at Chatue or Chow Chow. All right. Anyway, current electricity and it. Uh, but current electricity, the first concept we're going to look at is Ohm's law, and it. So first we need to state the Ohm's law. Voltage is directly proportional to current, right? And we also need to ca calculate resistance, voltage, current using the Ohm's law, and it. I'm going to take VCR triangle, right? Ninge aga daiso, right? VCR triangle. You know what you voltage over current resistance, voltage over resistance, current, voltage equals current times resistance. It was really very, very important. And then describe an experiment to determine the resistance. And then, all right, resistance, not to say experimental, very important. State the limitless of the Ohm's law, state the factors that affect the resistance. And then, uh, practical was a bit tricky because my textbook yo amita one one ya nyorwa so and it you don't do it amita ya che and it but the practical like na ma exam amita na what i so cho to chimwe chimishini jo do ngona do fundu kona ah chimishini chinde bija ne all right so na chinji manje one problem e kuti especially my schools i are my resources my shoma e kuti vana vanga singa kuti my practicals every now and again and it one of the things that we have to do is to make sure that we have 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 to to we need to construct a simple electrical circuits. And it simple electrical circuits, name symbols. I was say what I mean. So, so I draw and interpret circuit diagrams, calculate the resistance in simple circuits. And it like any formula one over other total is goes one over other one plus one over other two plus one over other three. You know, so I got that right. The last concept electrical power and energy. And it all right. 
you need to define electrical power, you need to define electrical energy. Number two, you need to calculate electrical power and electrical energy. Pana my units are more than that. sana watts, kilowatts, and then. Pana my question, I got sana P is equals to V I, and E is equals to V I T. All those you need to know. Normally, my concepts are electrical power and energy. And it's a good and a household electricity. You know, those all my kids are going to be able to say my kilowatts, my units, and all those things. But she's just that we are not enough. Channel was saying, I'm number to put you some so we are here to know by a machine is a pair. So that's a my units are going to kilowatts as well. And I go by the other at me now. So, 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 but if you are a student in science, uh, at this level, you need to have. A, a, a small understanding of how these uh, principles operate. Kwete kuti muna kasta da combine science akita A haagwe no chinja bulb and this electricity no chinja bulb but then kano di kuku gazira you know this three pin plug aye throughout this journey you gonna manage to this what practically most was going out food prove what aye what taka full or nepa nepa shayi itwa nepa shayi tau. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends. This is the end of uh, this lecture episode. Uh, I want to thank Forme Media Production and the crew behind the scenes. Be blessed and stay blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you.